What up guys, Miguel here of Yugi Tech. So we got invited to the unveiling of Canon's latest full frame mirrorless camera, the EOS RP. And here's our quick hands on. First things first, let's address the elephant in the room here. Canon, what the f happened to video? If you guys haven't heard, the EOS RP can only shoot 24 frames per second on 4K, or either 30 or 60 frames per second on 1080p or 720p as of now. There also isn't any dual pixel autofocus on 4K, which has a 1.6x crop by the way. <sighs> okay Canon, I'm done. Look guys, we can bash the RP all we want, call it the Canon RIP for however long, but that doesn't diminish the fact that at the end of the day, the Canon EOS RP is smaller, lighter, and cheaper compared to the EOS R, which is great, especially for those looking to try or get into Canon's new mirrorless ecosystem. So going back to video, the autofocus system on 1080p is actually freaking awesome. You get point-to-point -point autofocus and eye autofocus, which works just as advertised. The problem is that missing 24 frames per second which honestly is really sad switch over to 4k and you do get that 24 frames per second but that freaking awesome autofocus is gone that movie image stabilization isn't that bad though but again that 1.6x crop just isn't something i personally want to deal with moving on to build it feels awesome although I'm disappointed to find out that it isn't weather sealed. In the hands, it feels very familiar. I think if you already shoot Canon, switching to the RP does have a learning curve, but give it a couple of days and it should be a breeze from there. Now, that touch screen is the absolute best. In my opinion, Canon's very angle touchscreen on both the R and RP is just the one to beat in terms of electronic viewfinders today. It's OLED and it just feels like home. I guess I could say that I wish that it was bigger, but that would just be me nitpicking at that point. I'm starting to really like those RF lenses too. Tactility from that third mappable control ring feels really good. And since there isn't a dedicated ISO button and I didn't have the time to get my thumb used to the mappable on body buttons, mapping that third control ring is actually kinda put a pin on it useful, but surely functional. The RP also uses Canon's LP17 batteries. So I also don't think you'll be getting this thing for the battery life. If you were thinking of getting this thing as a mixed photo and video daily driver, you might want to think about buying spares. So for picture quality, the RP is awesome. It's rocking a 26.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, just like the one on the 6D Mark II. Unlike the 6D Mark II, the RP uses the latest Digic 8 image processor. And all I can say for now is, it's Canon. The color science, the autofocus, it's delighting me always. Low light on this thing is great. You get an ISO of 100 to 40,000 for photo and up to 12,800 for video. No complaints there. What might be a problem for you guys is that you can only take 5 shots per second on high speed continuous shooting and only 2.6 shots on low speed. Honestly, it's not a big deal for me though. Okay, now for some photo and video samples we were able to get from the event. Alright, so to conclude this video, I think the Canon EOS RP is a pretty capable and relatively cheap full-frame mirrorless camera. But I also think Canon should work on the video side of things. Because in this age where everyone wants to share stuff online, video should definitely not be lacking. And if they aren't planning to add 24 frames per second in 1080p recording or can't, then I cannot recommend this thing for people wanting to get this thing solely for video. Canon said that the R in the product name was for reimagine. So I guess P means photography? So maybe while reimagining photography, they forgot some videography essentials in the process. Sorry Canon, now I'm done. Okay, so what do you guys think of the EOS RP? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Don't forget to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and sorry if I sound kinda off in this video. I kinda have a sore throat, but nonetheless, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye